Hello everyone, this is Sean with Red Air Industries, and today I'm going to show you how to use Fade to Color properly. It should go without saying, Fade to Color is literally fading to the color you've chosen, black being default. You'll notice I just applied this effect to my top layer track only. Too many times people apply Fade to and From Color on all of their tracks. This isn't necessary. Look, if I apply Fade to Color on my video track and my title track above it, you'll see the video getting much darker than the title is. But if I apply it to my title track only, both the title and the video below it fade to black evenly because the effect on top affects the tracks below. Also, I've seen this where someone will fade to black and put their transition on center cut, causing the second half of that transition to extend past the timeline, which isn't logical if you're trying to cut a show to time for broadcast or you have to have a cut at a very specific duration. So please, don't do that. Just, just set it to ending at cut. And that, my friends, is how to use fade to color properly. If you've got any questions or you'd like us to do other tutorials, just leave a comment below. And if you could, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook at Red Arrow Industries or on our website at redarrowindustries.com. Oh, jeez, I, I just put fade to color on my bottom track. Well, this is embarrassing.